Thought I'd uh, show you what I'm going to make today. Looking at all the ingredients here. I've got some corn, potatoes, some garlic, jalapeno slices, onions, mushrooms, cream of mushroom soup, cheddar cheese, condensed cream soup. Got a mix of, uh, well, it's garlic and herb, jalapeno salt, regular sea salt, pepper, and a little bit of cayenne pepper in there. Back here we have a mixture of hot and mild Italian sausages and some pork steak. Going to be testing out my Dutch oven today to make something that I saw a while back called pigs in a cornfield. So the basic gist of this is take the, uh, I got an oiled Dutch oven here. I'm going to put in some cream of mushroom soup. Take some of these corns, rub that around. Basically trying to make a layer on the bottom of this pan here. Stick my corns on. I don't know how many I'm going to get in this pan. Kind of new to Dutch oven cooking. Trying it out because, well, it looked good. My understanding is I don't want the corn to touch the side. So I'll leave some space between the corn and the side of the pan. I went and bought some fresh corn. The video I saw had a, uh, some frozen cobbets, but that's alright. So now I'm going to take these potatoes, stick them in there. As you can tell, I'm using my phone to do this. I don't really have any other option right now. Home alone, doing stuff. And besides, this YouTube video is just for fun. I don't do this YouTube stuff for any kind of monetary gain. You can tell. Probably never will. Alright. So I got the corn in there, I got the potatoes in there. I'm going to take these onions, put them on top. Then grab this sausage here. We're breaking that down, putting it in here. Now none of this stuff is cooked. It's all just raw. Except for maybe the jalapenos. Those are pickled. I don't know what that is. I don't know if those are cooked or if they're just thrown in something. I really don't care. So I'll tuck this sausage all the way around here different places it'll be a surprise for every time you bite it won't know what I'm actually getting into hot, mild don't really care I'm gonna put a lot in here because well, I, I like sausage. And I bought a lot, so I might as well use it. Alright. Throw in some of these mushrooms. They're just fresh. I sliced them up. As you can see my pan is getting pretty full already. I'm going to go ahead and push this down. Throw in some jalapenos. I don't know how many of these to throw in. They say they're mild, but who knows. Then I got some garlic. Toss that in there. I'll spread that around. Yeah, I don't care if I'm using my fingers. I'll clean up. Besides, this is just for me today. Unless my buddy Blake comes over. So, maybe I'll dedicate this video to Blake. 
Blake's been coming over taking care of my dogs. Maybe I owe him a good meal. Alright, so here goes this cheese soup here. Yeah, if it'll ever come out. Yep. Yeah. Alright. There we go. Win if you can, lose if you must, but always cheat, right? Maybe it'll come out now. There we go. We got it. So I'll spread that around. Put that back out there. I'm going to go ahead and throw in some of this seasoning mix that I've got. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take these pork steaks and tuck them in right on top here. If you don't like pork steaks, throw in what you like. I don't think it's really going to matter. That's what half the time cooking is anyway, right? cooking what you like. Now, I'm going to go ahead and throw some more of this favorite mushroom soup up on top. Spread that around. Oh man. This is going to be a meal, folks. Might have overdid it a little bit. Then we'll be pushing close on top of my my pan, I don't care. I'm going to throw in some more garlic too. For no other reason than I like garlic. And it's my food. Alright. Go ahead and put that lid down on top. Step over here. The dog's going to want to come in. Say hi to Hershey. Anyhow. I'm going to come out here, I'm going to actually use my Weber grill to cook this on. I've already got some coals down in there, I don't know, about seven of them down on the bottom. I'll set my oven on top. I'm going to take some more coals, throw them on top. I think you're supposed to normally have Double what you have inside on top. Something of that sort anyway. Make sure I get this on here so she don't fall over. There you go. Yeah, not the easiest way to cook out here with a Dutch oven putting it on a grate, but that's what I've got for now. See? Some people put their ovens right on the ground or on a metal table. Well, I'm just not that fancy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Well, I'm going to put a little more in there. Fifteen, because I'm adventurous. And then this little one. Alright, folks. So this is going to be a couple part video here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop it now. You see the setup. Every 15-20 minutes I'll be coming out here and rotating the uh, the pan and the lid to make sure I don't get any hot spots. And it uh, should take about two hours. I'll come back and show you when I uh, open it up for the first time after rotating everything and cooking it in about two hours. And we'll see where we sit. Thanks for watching.